na SABC 1 mplomen lana with the first learner of the day ikama lake was pido bagbiz speech okas lako ay pido 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 bagbiz go pido alright i know out here a ngitshele kancane ukuthi wena yini i subject yakho oyithandayo eskila and and why that subject eh kahle kahle mina ncanywa i maths because like i am doing pure maths kahle kahle so as i am doing pure maths i maths like ifuna ukuthi ucabange kakhulu abo doesn't mean mela ukuthi ube stereotype mela ucabange kakhulu noma ngena calculate use your mind and your fingers yabo ukuthi calculate kahle abo yeah i lo mjita lona uthi sishaye i i i calculus ngemino yethu but it's fine what is your question to the teacher eh my question is eh Please explain how to determine the coordinates of a center and the radius of a circle. Wow, that's a good question. Um, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome live, not only in Bui and Mark, <laughs> but the circle. We're going to be finding the center and the radius of a circle. Mm -hmm. Isn't that so romantic? <laughs> okay. And the question says, please explain how to determine the coordinates of the center and the radius of the circle. Are you ready for this, guys? Yep, yep, yep. Okay, yep. let's rock and roll. Okay, let's have a look. This is a wonderful exam question, but let's first look at what a circle looks like. Well, a circle looks like a circle. There's no other way it could look like a <laughs> circle, circle. Okay, it's got a center A and B, okay, and it's got a point on the circle you see that there you got it guys you remember the stuff and then the radius well that's the line from the center to the circle there okay now look at this here now the equation of a circle if you remember is that if we use the distance formula we can say that you've got the center being x minus a squared plus y minus b squared and it's going to give you the radius there so it's x minus a squared plus y minus b squared is of course the radius squared there okay now let's have a look determine to answer the question the coordinates of the center and the length of the radius of each of the following circles have a look at this now if you look at this guys x squared plus y squared equals nine sounds like a rap song yeah you and i from and mark live hey rap song x squared <laughs> plus y squared is nine okay now cool what do you do check this out very simply put, do you agree that x is the same as x minus naught squared plus y minus naught squared is 9? Now look at that. The a is naught and the b is naught. So the center is naught naught. Mm -hmm. Okay. And now careful. Many matrix go wrong here. You say the r squared is 9 and then guess what? We square root to get 3. So as you can see, the center is naught naught and of course the radius is three but that's a circle at the center right at the origin there okay now let's continue with this are you enjoying this guys okay what about there let's see if you guys are clever okay anyone want to have a chat what's the center of that circle you want to have a try you got it there <laughs> that's on track yeah. okay okay come on think about it there watch this now watch this and you're going to help me on the next one look at this if i do this now careful remember it's x minus something which is two now that plus is a bit naughty. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go y minus negative one. Do you see that? You haven't changed anything there. The plus is a minus times a minus. And then look what happens. You've got x minus two and y minus negative one. So the center, if we look at it, the a is two and the b is negative one. So your center is two negative one now i'm going to show you a shortcut to do this have a look at the slide what we do is we can if you look at it carefully you can see can you see there now watch this guys if that's x minus two do you notice that in the center it goes positive two then if it's y plus one it and goes to negative one. one it changes sign so you can literally go from the start right down and get your center. Do you see how brilliant this is? And then of course the radius, now careful, r squared is 10, so r is root 10. Now let's see if you guys have got this here. And Bui, let's see if I can teach you some good mathematics here. Okay, teach me. All right, here we go, brother. Now tell me, I'm gonna write this down. x plus three squared uh -huh. plus y minus one squared is three. Okay, okay so now let's, let's see, what is it gonna be? The center it is going to be... Let's see. You said it's three, right? Okay. The center is going to be minus three. Yes. One. Yes. And then your R squared is going to be three. Yeah. And then R is going to be root three. 
Oh my word, education for the nation. And boy, you can do it, hey? Guys, and boy, you can do it. Isn't that a pleasure? You got it there. I, I feel good about myself. I, I've got a positive self image. He's making me believe in myself, guys. Now, if he can do it, no, I did not say that. If Mbuyi can do it and everybody can do it and I can do it, then so can you. Okay, shall we go on and let's, let's, you've made my day. You absolutely Thank on you. this morning. Get some coffee, guys. Get a pen out and let's write another one. Now, this one floors a lot of my tricks. Now, if you look at this, this was a bit scary. Now, people, what are we going to do? We're going to, let's hear somebody saying it. I've thrown the bones this morning. And you know, mm. guys, it says... Oh, the ancestors, the mathematical ancestors are saying, complete the square. <laughs> Whoa, let's do that. Okay, now how do we do this? How do we do it? We put the X's together and the Y's. Now watch here. Now when you complete the square, please don't make a mistake here. Remember, now what you're doing is on the left side. Now you brought the negative 4 across, so we get him out the way. Now look at this. You take the guy next to X. Do you see that there? Mm -hmm. And you put him into the structure that's that guy, that minus six, you divide by two and square, and you're going to see what's going to happen. And likewise, can you see this number four here? Yeah. We put him into the structure, bracket squared, and we divide by two. Now, that is always going to happen. Do you see? Mm -hmm. Always. But what you do to the left, you, you must to do, do to the right. So look at this. So when what we can then say, if you take that to the right, we're going to put that those two squared brackets on the right there. So it's the coefficient of x, the number next to x. You grab him. Okay, do this in the nation. Grab that coefficient. Wah! And throw him in. Wah! Wah! Into the bracket square divided by 2. I got this there. Yeah, yeah. Okay, are you, got, are you with me? Now, come on. Let's look at this. Man, I love maths. Okay, now look at this. You're going to love this. Okay, now obviously if we just go back a little bit, let's look at that. Negative 6 divided by 2 is negative 3, and if we square it, we get 9. And 4 over 2 is 2, so if we square it, we get, again, 4. Now look at that. So there's 9 and 4, and likewise, we've got the original 4 plus the 9 plus the 4. Now, you know what's amazing? This x squared minus 6x plus 9 factorizes into two beautiful brackets. Isn't that amazing? Mm -hmm. x minus 3, x minus 3. And then we've got y plus 2 all squared for the y squared plus 4y plus y. And then that gives you um, 4 plus 9 plus 4 is 17. Now look at that. By completing the square, guys, you get it into that, that wonderful form that you can then determine the center and the radius. Now, they're going to ask this in the trick. You guys probably experienced that. And let us see if, if our studio guests can get the center, make my day, and prevent me from going on to alcoholism. Okay, here we go. <laughs> All right, let's see. What is the center? Can you tell me? Come on, let's do it. What's the center? That's minus 3 becomes? Plus 3. And then the positive 2 becomes negative 2. Yes, 3, negative 2. And Mbuyi, talk to the sun, Goma. What is the radius? R squared is 17. You've got to believe it. So it's the square root of 17. Yes. Don't forget that. Okay. So when you're finding the center and the radius of the circle, there you have it. Okay. So don't forget this. I'm with the second learner of the day uh, who would like to ask a question through to our studio. Sabona Putunjan. Kona Winjan. Gapil and Fitz. Uh, Wamba Chivend, eh? Yeah, and Yam. It's in a labo and Dimin. The Langa if you answer, she is me. The number didn't know Langa Chivend. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'll tell Ngala Ung Jelega Nanuguti, what is the message, O Utuena Manje, you would like to just forward to other young people about metrics specifically in 2013? Okay, message for metric 2013, Uti. Life Napa Pandenzi, Maso, Motor Focus, in what is our study, she went to Ninja with us, was one a bright future now. Yeah. No, Siabong and Fetu. Indeed, we do agree that life does tend to get a bit hard, but if edu edu education is your center, you are set for success. And keep on watching Kelas and on SABC One. Mchita, what is your question to our teacher in studio? My question for the, for today is please de, please explain how to determine the equation of a cycle given a center and the point of a cycle. Okay, let's repeat the question, and mm -hmm. it says please explain how to determine the equation of a circle 
given the center and the point on the circle. So now you're not going to be asked for the center or the radius. You've got to now determine the equation. A little bit different. Okay, let's have a look at an example. Are you ready, guys? Let's fasten our seat belts and let's play Galeza Nati. Here we go. Determine the equation of the circle that's given. You're given a center there and that's a point on the circle. Okay, now that's the equation of the circle. Okay, now if we draw that, let's just see what it would look like. Let me draw a little picture here. I'll just put it up top here somewhere. There we've got a circle. We've got its center is M. As you can see there, that M is minus one, three. And then we've got a point somewhere on the circle. It doesn't really matter where it is, but we've got minus four, minus one is a point on the circle. Mm -hmm. So remember, M is a B, and that would be X and Y. Okay, so the question is, how do we then get the equation of the circle? Well, firstly, what is A and B? If you think about it, what would A? Do you want to have a, guy, a shot, guys? Anyone in the studio want to tell me what A and B is? There we go, come on. It, well, A would be three. Minus one, and yeah. then B yeah, would be the three. The three. <laughs> minus three. That's right, okay, good. I guess. So it's x minus negative one squared plus y minus three. But if you look at what I showed you, if it's minus one, it goes in and becomes plus one. Three becomes negative three. Can you see that there, guys? Okay, so that's the center. You plug it in there. Look at that. Plus one, minus one. Negative three, three. But in strict mathematical terms, it's actually x minus the negative one, mm -hmm. and y minus three. Okay, then all we need to do is to get the radius, you substitute that point into the circle. So what we do is we say x is minus four and y is negative one, and you simply work it out. That gives you negative three squared nine, negative four squared is 16, r squared is 25, and there's your equation of the circle.